Hi, and welcome to Z's Playroom. Today, Marshall, Sky, Chase, and Ryder from the Paw Patrol will be visiting a safari park zoo and seeing animals that come from the continent of Africa. Oh, 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 I am so excited. I can't wait to see all the animals. Oh, yeah, me too, me too. I'm so glad. And look, the first animals are right over there. Do you see them? Those are zebras. <laughs> wow, their fur is the same color as mine, black and white. But they have stripes, and I have spots. That's right, Marshall. And their stripes are totally unique to them just like a human's fingerprints are unique to each individual person. No two zebras have the same stripe pattern. Oh wow, that's really cool. You know, zebras can also sleep standing up. That helps them be ready to run if there's a predator, like a lion, that tries to sneak up on them while they're sleeping. <laughs> well, it's probably easier for them to escape if they're ready to go. Do lions usually attack herds of zebra in the wild? Lions are a zebra's top predator. And did you know that a group of zebras is actually called a dazzle? Oh, I love that, a dazzle of zebras. They are dazzling. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, what's that over there? Oh, Marshall, those are giraffes. Let's go over there next. Paw Patrol is on a roll. All right, check out the giraffes. You know, giraffes are the tallest land animals and can be taller than three humans standing on top of each other. Their long necks help them keep a lookout for predators. In fact, a group of giraffes is actually called a tower of giraffes. Wow, and I guess being tall helps them reach all the leaves on tall trees, too. They wouldn't need the ladder that I have on my fire truck. That's right. You know giraffes actually spend most of their time eating leaves, grass, twigs, and fruit. They spend so much time eating that they actually have dark blue tongues. They use their tongues to eat, and they're in the sun so much. And if their tongues were pink like ours, they would actually sunburn. Whoa, a blue tongue. Blue's my favorite color. That's so cool. Not just that, pups, but their tongues are actually kind of like fingers because they're long and can twist and grip things. Oh, cool, what's that over there? I see another animal. Oh, that looks like a rhinoceros. Let's go check it out. All right, pups, this is a rhinoceros, or just a rhino. You know, the word rhinoceros actually means nose horn, and I think you can see why. And why is there just one rhinoceros? Isn't it lonely? You know, male rhinos tend to be solitary and territorial, so they tend to live alone. Female rhinos sometimes live with their calves, which is what we call their babies, or other females. And you know, a group of rhinos is even called a crash. A crash? <laughs> it sounds like they're almost as clumsy as I am sometimes. Well, they are kind of messy and get muddy a lot, but that's not because they're clumsy and fall down. They do it on purpose. They usually live near rivers or watering holes in the savanna, and they love to be covered in mud to keep cool. Unfortunately, the number of rhinos in the wild is going down and they're considered to be an endangered species. Is that because of predators like lions? Not really. Because they're so huge, rhinos actually don't have a lot of natural predators. They have strong horns and their skin is almost like armor. The main reason that they are endangered is actually because of humans. You know, rhinos are huge. They're the second biggest land animal after elephants. Speaking of elephants, is that an elephant over there? I think so. Let's go check it out. 
Sky, you are right. Look at the elephants. You know, besides their size, and they can weigh as much as a car, elephants are also known for their ears and their trunks. These are African elephants, and they have larger ears than Asian elephants. And some say that their ears are actually almost like the shape of the continent of Africa. Their trunks are really cool, and they use them almost like hands. They can use them to eat and forage, to suck up water to drink or to squirt out, or even as a snorkel when they go swimming. Wow, and they spray water through their trunks like my water cannons. That's right, Marshall, they do. You know, elephants can also communicate a couple different ways. They communicate through touch, using their trunks, and through sounds. They kind of sound like trumpets. You know, what's really cool is they can also communicate using vibrations that are so low and deep that we can't hear them. They actually feel them as vibrations through the ground and they're called rumbles. Oh wow, that is awesome. I could watch them forever. Me too. But it's actually time to move on to the last animal that we're gonna see today. Oh, oh, what is it? Well, let's find out. Wow, it's a lion. That's right. It's actually a male lion with two cubs. You can tell that the adult is a male because it has a mane. That's what the long fur around its neck is called. You know, lions are the only cats that live in groups. And a group of lions is called a pride. Well, that makes sense. They certainly look proud. Do the cubs usually live with their dads? Well, in the wild, males usually protect the pride, but they're not really involved in helping take care of their cubs. Lion prides have their own territory or a specific place that they claim and protect. This is a little bit funny and maybe a little weird, but lions actually mark the borders of their territory using urine. So they go to the bathroom and that's what they use to mark their territory. Okay, that is weird and a little funny. So the males are the protectors and the female lions are actually the main hunters. I like that. What do they eat? The other animals we've seen today have been herbivores, or animals that eat plants. But lions are carnivores, and they eat meat. Some of their favorite foods are deer, zebra, wildebeest, or gazelles. But they usually only hunt every couple of days. Oh! Oh, that scared me. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you okay, Marshall? Oh, that roar was really scary. Did you hear that? That's right. A lion's roar can actually be heard for miles. Well, I love these animals. Thank you so much for taking us to the zoo, Ryder. Anytime, pups. It's been a lot of fun to learn about these animals who live in the savanna with you.